Oh my goodness, Dad. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm Craig Steele, orchunt.com publisher and founder, professional hunting guy, professional marketer. I love to hunt. This is season two of Hunt For More. It's about providing value and showing you how much effort and work goes into it. I hope you enjoy it. Let's get going. January 1st, 2016, and uh, <clears throat> sitting here waiting for uh, one of our archer deer hunters. 2015 was a great year. For my uh, professional guiding career, I didn't set aside the time, you know, um, or make priority to do any hunting for myself this year and or, or, or really for my family outside of the typical draw and uh, you know I can make all the excuses in the world and tell you how you know I'm working hard and you know paying off uh, bills and you know I, I, I'm not rich and I can make all the excuses in the world as to um, why I didn't accomplish my own personal hunting goals this year um, but for this year I didn't it wasn't it wasn't in the cards if you're blaming somebody for what you haven't accomplished um, it's it's uh, there's no need to look anywhere else but uh, look in that mirror and, and look at the person staring back at you and, and really be honest with what you, what uh, what uh, you know what time and what priority um, you're placing on whatever goals you want to reach you know we can all sit here and say we weren't born with a silver spoon in our mouth and and you know we didn't have this or we didn't have that but there's so many people that contradict um, that uh, that saying or that uh, that thought process is just laughable there's no reason to to uh, dwell on what uh, you don't have but what you do have is you do have time and you do have the ability to put forth the effort and prioritize what you want uh, you know I challenge every one of you to do the same thing and um, all too often I think uh, the, the lower and middle class as but if I'm talking about demographics which is where I sit in the middle class all too often I think we make excuses um, as to why um, somebody is keeping us where we're from what we want to do and and really it's because we're we're uh, you know we're not looking at the person in the mirror and uh, we're not uh, really uh, challenging ourselves and we're not striving to to do better I'm gonna have to throw mine on the charger I don't know why it's only got 28 minutes on it I got Verizon too so
the kids, we gotta go in 10 minutes because I need to get to the bed. I need to bed at 10.30 last night. Sure. Can't do that again because yeah. he was struggling to be really tired at school, so. Mm. But, um, um, I remembered, um, oh, I actually have a couple things I need to talk to you about. So we think they were supposed to be having done. And so I asked Kara if there was a possibility of moving it. And she said that she might be able to call somebody to see if they'd be willing to trade me week. I'm off the very next following week, that same, like, Monday and Tuesday combo. It's the 25th and 26th. Do you know if that would work for you or no? I'll have to look. And the other thing is um, the first um, practice, um, it's supposed to be this Saturday. Um, Beth said I didn't have to go to the meeting. She already dropped the stuff off at the house. I just have to, you know, go through it. And she said that it'll explain everything, like, about practices, and I'll understand how that's all supposed to work, and I'll get stuff put in my phone and let parents know for you tomorrow. Um, she said the first practice is this Saturday, but if for some reason we can't be there, it's not a big deal. Just let the parents know. Um, they no. are doing Callie's birthday party this Saturday. Well, we have to do this Saturday because I can't do next Saturday because I'll be gone. Not a big deal. Okay. We'll figure it out. Um, did you guys get anything? No. No. Still pretty crappy weather? Yeah, today wasn't bad. Yeah. Tomorrow's supposed to be crappy, so we'll see. Yeah. I just thought I'd call and check in with you. Okay. Mm. Um, your son's getting a special award at school tomorrow. He's getting the Christian Character Award. Um, they do two kids for every grade, and they give them out each quarter. And Ms. Connell said that she's just really been impressed by him, and so um, he gets that tomorrow, along with he got all A's in one B again. Oh, awesome. Well, yeah, it's really is a half day tomorrow. I guess I should have probably let him tell you that. I'm sorry. He already knows about it. Maybe I could let him still tell you. Yeah, just let him tell me. So we're going to head home here in just a few minutes. Okay. Okay. Well, all right. Well, I love you guys. I'll call you tomorrow. Right, we're looking forward to seeing you. Okay. I'm uh, looking forward you. to seeing you too. Bye. Bye-bye. January 8th, 2016. This is Bruce's last day, <sighs> last two hours of the hunt. Came back over here this afternoon after getting fogged in and rained in this morning. Kind of let up. Now we just got a little bit of a sleep. Almost hell. Storm right as we get ready to glass. And looks like it's going to blow out of here, but we're trying to glass up. Your buck. It's been a rough, rough six days of bad weather for four days. First day we were on a mature four by five, not a sporty buck, but Bruce has never killed a mule deer with a bow. We got within 40 yards. That's about as much action as we've had. We've seen one better buck and gave us a slip. Freaking deer killer right there. That's right. He is tall. He's got good backs, doesn't he? 
Mm -hmm. Shoot Troy a picture mail with us, Bob. There he is, sideways. That buck's gonna be a great buck in a body. A year or two, you know what? Mm -hmm. I mean, he's not gonna be super scory because he doesn't have a great front. Oh, his right side's not bad. Look how the young he looks. His neck don't even look swollen. Little bugs look a lot bigger. You just grab the ears and move back, right? <laughs> That's Stood up back there. You're still good. She stopped looking around. He cut her off. Nose and her. They're just stopped. They're walking uphill, but he's on that window. Okay, you can go. Keep going forward. I don't know if you have your shoes on or not. They're moving forward now. You can get up to that pal already pretty quick. That's a good shot of him right there. young four point went over that ridge. I think when they're kind of called in this thing, they kind of... I got some good video of them there. That damn doe, she's running around, isn't she?
what he had been next year, you, you know. What. He might have been 24 inches and, you know. Yeah. And this year there should have been good feed, right? Yeah. I mean, it's moist. Moist. No. You guys stayed up on the hill five minutes ago. So he might not have made it through the... Yeah, this buck probably... He's, can you imagine how many lions this son bitch has dodged in his nine years probably he's been alive? He's probably at least nine. Don't you? Yeah. He's an old... Old dude. Cool old deer. My shoulder's tired for some reason. Old Saguaro. Is that a man that wears knees out? <laughs> Craig in those pictures. <laughs> He'll get one or two if they're good ones. That's it. You just gotta rake and tell. Yeah, you do. Let's move that leg back. I got him pretty good right here. Cat claw. All right, go find a big one. Thanks, guys.